and it is my belief that they will any moment reject this, this mood, which is being stirred up by the press, in favor of a period of restrained grief and sober private mourning. That's the way we do things in this country, quietly, with dignity. Helen Mirren has had and continues to have a remarkable career into her 70s. She started her career on stage with the Royal Shakespeare Company and has since worked in television, going on to award-winning films and still having an incredibly rich stage career. What strikes me about her is not just the longevity of her career, but her versatility. She's a classically trained actor who's gone on to do everything from your classic British period drama to Fast and the Furious. This is a family funeral, Mr. Blair, not a fairground attraction. I think the princess has already paid a high enough price for exposure to the press. Don't you? Helen Mirren won her first and only Oscar to date for her role in The Queen, um, though she's been nominated several times before. She plays Queen Elizabeth II right in the aftermath of Princess Diana's tragic death. So you see her reacting as kind of the matriarch of this family, but also as the, the queen of the country and responding to this national outpouring of grief. There's a real kind of warmth and vulnerability to this role, which is, I think, part of the reason that she was so celebrated for this portrayal. On the right is Della Mornay. On the left is the murder victim. Helen Mirren was well known and celebrated for her stage work, but she wasn't necessarily known to the larger British public or kind of a global audience. And that started to change in 1991 when she originated the role of Detective Jane Tennyson on the British series Prime Suspect. The character in the series were incredibly beloved and went on to run up until 2006. So even as her film career was taking off, she was still returning to this BBC series. So Helen Mirren has played all sorts of roles in all sorts of eras, and it's really nice to me that she hasn't been kind of boxed into this kind of classic period film that some of her peers unfortunately have been. But one role that she did take was that of uh, Alma Ravel, who was married to Alfred Hitchcock. And the film Hitchcock covers the kind of troubled production of the film Psycho. Consider this a reminder, I am your wife, Alma Ravel. Not one of those contract blondes you badger and torment with your own so specific directions. It's definitely an interesting era and project to explore. And I think if you've seen Hitchcock's body of work, this kind of helps put some of that period in context, although it is a little loose with the facts of the actual production and their relationship. The Dead sees Helen Mirren playing an ex-Mossad agent who's forced to kind of reckon with her past along with some of her colleagues at that time. And it takes place in two eras where the young Helen Mirren character is actually portrayed by Jessica Chastain. Seeing Helen Mirren play kind of the spy, it really sort of clicked with audiences who wouldn't necessarily expect her in such a role, but I think it proved that she could be credible and actually really bankable and lucrative as an action star. Shortly after the debt, you see her go on to do films like the Red franchise and even taking roles and things as like out there as Fast and the Furious. I think really pushing the boundaries of what an actor in their later years, especially like a female actor, can do and what sort of roles are accessible to them.